Another year has passed, and another year I'm still using the T2 Fusion Trainer. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bridger with Theology Geek Fitness, and guess what? I still love this thing. This thing has been like my favorite piece of home gym equipment uh, since I started getting into home gym equipment and ranking them every year. And year after year, it still finds its way to number one. Will it still find its way to number one in 2024? Well, you'll have to see that video when it comes out in December. But, look, <laughs> this thing is just amazing. Um, it's still a go-to staple in my training. It does so much uh, out of the box, and it's gotten better with the uh, the new handles options that they have with the uh, leg straps that you can get. The most comfortable leg straps by far uh, of any sort of suspension training device or whatever. Um, and you can even use those leg straps. I, I mean, they attach via carabiner, so you could use them for you know, uh, cable machines or anything else as well, if you wanted to. I mean, they're just super comfortable. You can put them around your wrists and stuff too. But um, yeah, they keep uh, chipping away at this thing and making one, of, uh, you know, one of the most versatile and certainly the best piece of home gym equipment uh, better. So I appreciate the fact that they're still tinkering away with this thing. But I mean, out of the box, you've you've got the best of suspension training. You've got the best of resistance band training you've got uh isokinetics the the body fight thing um you can mix and match suspension training going into the isokinetic body fight stuff you can uh mix and match with the bungee cord you know the resistance band style training mixed in with the isokinetics you got tension off the band plus the the tension from your own body fighting one one side fighting the other plus the the housing unit multiplies your you know, the force of whatever uh, you're inputting with your own body from one side to the other, it's still multiplied through the housing unit, so it adds even more on top of what you're fighting against yourself with already. You know, you can, it can essentially do the most basic functions that you could get with like uh, wave trainings, like the inertia wave, you can do that. I've even, uh, you know, finagled the handles to where you can do pull-ups and dips with it if you have a mount on your ceiling. You can just use the handles, bypass the housing unit, and use it as a quick and dirty uh, isometric um, piece of equipment. It it's just amazing. It just it just does so many different things, and you know it covers almost every possible uh, movement pattern. You know, as I I said in my best additions video, it can't make itself way more <laughs> than it does, so it's not really the best for carries. And it suffers uh, when it comes to uh, tr leg training. While it does have the best hamstring, when you do an isokinetic hamstring curl, that gives th there is no better hamstring exercise uh, on the planet compared to that. But you know, when you're just doing body weight squats, you know, using the suspension trainer or even trying to do the body fight squat or whatever. It's just easier to throw on a weight vest to, you know, add some weight to your body so that you can uh, get more tension in the muscle and cut down on the volume. But that's its, if it has a weakness and, you know, I know there are suspension training enthusiasts out there who would argue with me. It's like, no, if you just kind of do a HIT style, the HIT, high intensity training style, rep count and, and, and whatever to failure, go real slow, uh, you can, you can do that. But. I think that kind of training is boring, personally. I know it's effective and all of that, but it, I, it's not my thing. So, you know, other than adding a wave vest to it, it really just does everything. It's, it's you know, it's just one of the best pieces of equipment available on the market, the single uh, best. And there's, like, a lot of yoga and Pilates stuff that people do with it as well. I'm not into that. It's not my thing. But, I mean, as far as what I like, resistance band training, suspension training, I love the isokinetics, you know, the body fight stuff. It's it's hanging around there, um, and it's not technically a suspension trainer, even though it, that's one of its modes. Um, you could do suspension training with it because you know it has that option as well as all the other options it can do. Uh, it was my number one suspension trainer, so so I mean it's just an amazing piece of equipment. So I, I do sound like I'm shilling for it because I am because I think it's great. I think everyone should get a T2. Uh, fusion trainer and have it in their home gym and you'll find that it does pretty much everything you could ever 
want from a whole bunch of different types of equipment all in one bag. So, yeah, uh, another year, another uh, high recommendation from me and more high praise of the T2 Fusion Trainer. And I'm still uh, waiting to see what they're going to do with this thing next. Um, I, I love the guys that run the company. They're great people. And, um, yeah, just, you know, just want to commend it to you all. Link in the description below. You guys need to check it out. Those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Have you um, had good experiences? Have you had no experience with the T2 ISO trainer? Does all of my high praise ever, uh, you know, cause you to think, huh, I need to go get that piece of kit? Well, I hope it does. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video. Click that button. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. I don't really care either way. Just do one or the other. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and you want to support us. You can do that at patreon.com slash Fitness. The link's in the description below. You get all kinds of bonus content and get in on the gear giveaways. So consider doing that and I'd appreciate it. Just like I appreciate you watching this video. See you in the next one. God bless.